Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. So for today's video, I thought I would show you guys how I take my makeup off and what products I use because I enjoy watching these sort of videos and I find it really fascinating to see, you know, the different types of products that people use and how they take their makeup off. Does that make me weird? I'm sure I'm not the only person who enjoys watching these sort of videos, so let me know in the comments if you enjoy watching these sort of videos too because I don't want to be the only one. I'm sure I'm not. Let's just get straight into the video. So, to start off with, when I um, take on makeup off, whether it's night time or when I get home from work because Let's be honest, if you don't get home from work and go straight into your jammers and take your makeup off, then you're lying to yourself, aren't you? Because we all do it. So the first thing that I do when I take my face off is use a face wipe. And I know, I can hear you all out there, the people that hate face wipes, there's a lot of hate, but I like them. This is my first step and I always do it. And I'm not even sorry, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know what I would do if I didn't have these face wipes. So these are just the Sensitive Skin Fragrance Free Face Wipes from Wilkinson's and they're like 50 pence. But these are amazing and they're the only face wipes that I can use that don't leave me all red and blotchy because I have really sensitive skin. So these are a lifesaver. What I'm about to do next might make you all cringe because I'm gonna take it off with a wipe, but this is what I do. So I always start off taking my eye makeup off. Oh, I don't know what that was because it's the most like heaviest part of my face, I feel like. And I just go over all my face. I don't know why people have so much hate against face wipes. I mean, if it was the only step that I did in my routine, then yeah, I'll probably be a bit like, what are you doing? Because I know that it doesn't take all the makeup off. It leaves quite a bit on. But to start off with, and just to get that, you know, the bulk of the makeup off, I don't see the issue. Does anyone else use face wipes still? So that's my lipstick off. And we're looking fresh faced already. I don't know why I've shown you. Why on earth would you care what my wipe looks like? So my next step is taking the Lizelle Cleanse and Polish, this little bad boy here. Shout out to my sister and her girlfriend Paige and Harriet for getting me this for my birthday because I have wanted this for ages and they got me it and I was absolutely buzzing when they got me it because I just put a blog post up about a birthday wish list and this was literally in it and then they got me it and they hadn't even read it so thanks. So I'm just gonna take some of this and pop it on my face. And I know some people use this as their first step to take their makeup off but I don't know what I have against that. I just, I can't stand it when people, like no hate to anyone or whatever, like if you do that it's fine. But I just feel like using just this to take your makeup off. I feel like it, it won't get it off properly. Like, I mean, let me know if I'm wrong because I've never done it. But I just feel like all that makeup just like mushing into your skin. I'm just not, I'm not living for that. But I mean, if I'm wrong, let me know because I'll first put my hands up when I'm wrong. But yeah, I just can't, I just can't see it happening. So what I do is I just massage all that into my skin on my nose and like work it into the neck because we gotta get that off there too. Do not forget about the neck. Massage it into my brows and my eyes. And then I take the muslin cloth that it comes with, excuse how dirty this is because it's disgusting. And I just wipe away all that. And oh my god, it smells amazing and leaves your skin so soft. I just love the feel of it. I'm not gonna lie, the cloth smells rank after a couple of uses because it's just got like loads of makeup on. I've washed this like a fair few times, but like the makeup just doesn't come out of it. So I think I might have to purchase some more. I suppose if you can see the makeup on it, then you know that it's coming off. And it just shows you how much makeup is actually left on your face once you've used a wipe. So if you are a person that just uses a wipe on their face to take the makeup off and nothing else, look at this. This is how much makeup is still left on your, on your skin. And that's that. And as you can see, I'm looking makeup free and I feel just a lot more fresh. My skin just feels amazing. It feels so soft. This is amazing. How many times do I say amazing? But it is, it's such a good product. I would definitely recommend this to cleanse your face. So the next thing that I do to take my makeup off is go in with the Pixi Glow Tonic and this is a toner. 
and this is just this one here. I'm sure you've seen it, I'm sure you've heard of it because it is everywhere. So what I do with this is just pop some on a cotton pad, just like that. And I've kind of a love-hate relationship with this product. I've had it for a few months and I don't know how I feel about it. At first, I was like all for it. I was like, yes, this is amazing. I can see the difference. But sometimes if I've had a breakout, I don't know if it makes it worse. Because quite a lot of people told me to buy this because I was asking, you know, what can you do for dull skin? How can I turn my dull skin into like this glowing goddess sort of thing? And people were saying, Pixie Glow Tonic, it's amazing. It's good for acne, which I don't have, but if I have a spot, I'm happy to, you know, try and thin to get rid of it. But so I've noticed sometimes when I use this that it can make me break out more. It, it says, it um, what does it say? It removes dead skin cells. So when it's doing that, I don't know if it's like, making me break out to try and get all like the crap out my skin you know to try and help it or if the breaking out is a consequence of using it like maybe my skin doesn't agree with it i'm not sure if anyone else has these like issues help a girl out please i mean you can already see like it, it does make the skin glow i've got a nice like glowy dewy sort of complexion and still makeup on my face after wipes after cleansing you gotta tone because we still got that makeup on there it's never gone. It is like, what's it like? What doesn't leave? I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, so after toning, sometimes depending on how my skin is, I might go in with the Clearacel Rapid Action Pads, visibly clearer skin um, in four hours. And it's just these here. These are like one of my holy grail products. I use it in the morning or at night time. But like I said, it depends how my skin is. So if I am having a few breakouts, I'll just take one of these pads and wipe it all off my face at the moment I'm okay so I'm not going to do it because I don't want to dry out my skin you know if I don't have to but I definitely recommend these they're amazing they get rid of any spots yeah so okay so once I've toned or gone in with the clear cell wipes I'll finish with a moisturizer but I like to wait for my skin to dry a bit more I don't really want to put like a liquidy sort of product on top of like my face when it still feels a bit wet so I'll just like put her on for a bit watch a bit of tv do my thing a little sing song because you know I like to sing. Okay, so my face is pretty dry now. I think it's completely dry. Although I'm looking a bit red faced, but that's my life. So I will either use the Soap and Glory Bright Here Bright Now Instant Radiance Energy Boost Balm, which is this little one here, or I will use the Nivea Light Moisturizing Cream, which is this one here. So what I'm gonna do for you, I'm gonna do half of my face with this and have my face with this so you can see the difference that it makes to my skin first i'll go in with the soap and glory right here right now and this is just like a creamy sort of white color and i'm just gonna pop that on my cheek on my forehead neck and then just moisturize that in and this is a really good moisturizer for dull skin um because obviously it's brightening and it leaves you with like a really nice glow I'll let that dry in I mean, can you see the difference to this side and this side and how much more like dewy and glowy in this side is compared to this side? And this is really good as well if you want a dewy foundation finish but you have like a matte foundation. Pop a little bit of this, mix it in with the foundation. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. You got a dewy look. So on the side, I will show you the Nivea Light Moisturising Cream and this is more of a, I mean, it says light but I do find it quite like a heavy consistency. And again, this just looks like that. I'm gonna pop that on this side. I tend to use this more when I've got quite dry skin because this is super, super moisturising. It just takes that dry skin and makes it so soft. And there we go. So you can see both. Obviously this one is a lot brighter and shinier than this side. My skin just feels so soft. So it's a pretty simple and easy routine and it takes like five minutes, if that. So you can just snuggle up, watch TV and enjoy the rest of your night. So I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did, subscribe if you're new, welcome um, and leave some comments telling me what products you use to take your makeup off because I would love to try some more and know what sort of things you do and how you use them. So I'll see you all again soon. Bye!